Hello to all my space cadets. It is AD with Cosmo Astrology, and I am going to be doing your zodiac reading. This is if you are an Aries, okay, or you identify as an Aries. Please keep in mind that I do subscribe to Vedic Astrology, so my placements could be different than yours. The reason why this matters is because at the end of this video, I like to do an astrological breakdown, so the placements are going to be based in sidereal placements, so they could be different. What I've learned as I've been doing this is you can watch this video if you are a Western Aries sun or a Western Aries moon and or if you are a West a Vedic sidereal Aries rising or an Aries moon. It should be applicable. Um, the energies have read about the same. And then as we move into the last half of this reading, and I'll give you a friendly reminder, all you're going to do is just act as if Aries is your rising sign for any of those placements. I think that it is all beneficial as we grow on the spiritual journey and as we all learn different things and whatnot. So enough, enough, enough of my banter, guys. Um, let's go ahead and get into your reading, guys. Thank you so so much for joining me and please don't forget to like share and subscribe if this makes any sense to you so we are going to be looking into aries all right for a time period i'm going to be posting this around the time when the sun moves into aquarius for sidereal vedic placements okay so this is the time frame that we're looking at is when the sun will be in aquarius um so about february march reading mid-february to mid-march all right, so we're starting off here with the Justice card. So emphasis on balance. Interestingly enough, Justice Libra is opposite of your sign. So really funny. Oh, wow, another major card. Temperance. Sagittarius energy represented. Um, we have the Page of Swords. And we have the magician. Oh, there's the Aries energy. So really powerful energy, guys. I feel like you're learning a lot about yourself, your spirituality, about what you want, about what you need to do in order to get what you want. Um, and I think that you're going to be forging the right relationships in order to do that. Because anytime I see the Justice card, that reminds me of relationships, partnerships, seventh house energy. So I think that you're manifesting the right relationships, but you're also really sure on what it is that you want. Hence why you know exactly what you're asking for. You're in this phase, Aries, where like, you know exactly exactly what you have on your Christmas list for Santa. You are pulling out the freaking scroll. <laughs> it's like, what do you want, little girl? What do you want, little boy? And you're like, here, Santa, I have a list for you. Um, and I really do think that whatever it is that you're just sticking with that analogy, whatever it is that you're asking for Santa, it's like to build something. So you would ask Santa, be like, Santa, I need a rocket ship. I need NASA coordinates. I need materials because I have a plan to blast off the space and you're going to be the one to get me there. Um, so I'm really getting like this powerful energy of you just knowing exactly what, it, what you want, knowing exactly what you're going for and starting to forge those relationships in order to get that. At least that's what I'm seeing um, here starting off, which is major. <laughs> The Three of Pentacles. I love when that happens. So this is a collaborative effort. You are going to be, I've just heard group think, but you're going to be in a situation where you're with like-minded people who understand your values and you're working towards building a common goal. So uh, it's a balance of um, a lot of different things, but I love the Three of Pentacles being in the middle of this reading because it takes, it takes so many people in order to you know, build something, <laughs> you know, worth, worth lasting. And I think that you understand that of all people, Aries, then we have the four of swords. So kind of slowing that energy a little up down a little bit, but we'll have to look at that in the full context. Um, just three more cards for our Aries. This is the Knight of wands <laughs> back at it again with the white vans. <laughs> so yeah. And Ooh, the star card, Aquarius energy. Friendships, communication, again, community with 11th house, Aquarius energy. So really adding on to this. And then finally, we have the emperor, more Aries energy. Wow. Um, so we're really, really in tune. Aries is what I'm getting. So give me just two seconds to kind of process this information that we're looking at. And then let's get into it. At the bottom of the deck. Wow. Wow. We have the Empress. 
Who Reese? Okay, this is about partnership and collaboration. You are making the right connections. You are, if you're the divine feminine, you're meeting your divine masculines. If you're the divine masculine, you're meeting the di your divine feminine. What do I mean by that? Does this have to be a love reading? Absolutely not. In fact, I actually think that this is more of a creative reading or a collaborative reading, a work reading with the three of pinnacles energy here. In fact, there are no cups. <laughs> There's not a single cup in this reading. Um, and and I think that that's a good thing because there are no feelings involved it, right now because you're so focused on getting to that next um, level. And so the people that you're attracting into your life are mentors. These are people who are actually able to help you. They get your vision and they want to be a part of the vision. In fact, you guys have a shared vision and you're like want to build it together. So you're meeting your counterparts in a friendship way. For some of you, it could be in a romantic way, but for a lot of you, I'm getting this in, a, in an extremely platonic and contractual way with the Libra energy here. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into your reading. But super powerful start, very abundant energy, very fertile energy. You're ready to give birth. Um, some of you could, could find yourself to be pregnant or you could be you know, almost at that due date. But for the vast majority, it's just like you, you have been nurturing and nursing this project and you are ready to finally push it out. And it's been labor pains and you're ready to get it out you know um so let's look into your cards i just want to start here um yeah so we talked about the justice temperance and the seven of swords so partnerships there you could also be meeting people that are of different culture different language different religion different heritage than you are um because of the sagittarius energy that's present here so do not limit yourself to who you think these people could be as they enter in your life, because chances are they're going to look very different and seem very different than what it was that you were expecting. But they're going to offer so much uh, like a fresh perspective or a new fresh take on whatever this is that you're embarking on. So also take this as an opportunity to learn. And that's the one thing that I feel Aries is, is what you're doing is like you're really taking a strong um, stance on learning new things from new people. And that's extremely powerful, especially for Aries, because I'm an Aries moon myself, guys. So I say this with love, but we are known for being very headstrong and we are known for being very one-sided. And I think in this moment in time, you've done all that you can do. You've gotten as far as you could go. The emperor here, you, you've done it. And now you're like, okay, I've gotten my village as far as I can expand it, as far as I can see. Now I have to start making uh, diplomatic relationships because, you know, across the water, they have really great fish. So I need to learn how to work with them. I need them too, if I'm going to be successful. And that is where you are kind of coming from, which is an extremely powerful and dominant energy, regardless of your gender. But I am getting like this conquering energy, even though you could be a feminine with that empress or vice versa. Um, moving on to the second row, we have um, the magician, the three of pentacles and the four of swords. So again, you have been manifesting this collaborative group, but I feel like you haven't been able to do anything with it with the Four of Swords because nothing has been active. And so it does look, moving into the Knight of Wands, this gets activated, okay? There is like, um, you're moving towards, you know, sitting in a position of power. I, I love this this last row uh, because you really start feeling like you are on top of the freaking world. <laughs> You really start feeling like you have conquered anything. Like I said, you're sitting at what you built for yourself and it goes as far as the eye can as far as the eye can see and even further than that because you are not done yet. You're just in the midst of how can you connect with certain people in order to continue to grow and expand. That is absolutely the theme of this reading. Um and again, even with this, I, I really do say you should be open minded and get creative with how you plan your next um your next journey, your next leg, your next chapter. Because I don't think that you can even envision <laughs> how far your kingdom is going to grace you and these people that uh, for what you're building. And it feels very long term. Definitely recognition coming in um between you, this other person, this crew. So you are building, 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 building status, gains, all of that beautiful stuff. Um, looking at the outside energies, um, justice, the knight of swords, the knight, justice, the knave of swords, the knight of wands, and the emperor. You 
I, you're just, you're ready to take charge. <laughs> You're ready to take charge. Again, you're doing a really beautiful and delicate dance. Um, my right hand is itching, so some of you guys are certainly going to be getting money, so this could deal with work for sure. Um, but it's like you're ready to take the full position. You, you've done the work. You've done the studying. You've thinking about it, and now you're ready to go full steam ahead. And I think that that's wonderful because it's time. Perhaps you've been putting so much energy into your feminine self. You've been sitting and receiving. And now it's time for you to push and get back into the masculine side of you. Um, the one that actually is action oriented and going to do something. You know, you're like, I'm going to do it. <laughs> you've nurtured it long enough. Now it is time to, to bring it to the spotlight. Showtime. Share your message. Communicate. And the one thing that I do want to highlight, Aries, that I'm getting is confidence. Really, really being confidence on your eye confident in your ideas. I imagine that you've been sitting on a lot of these things for a very long time. You've had these thoughts for a very long time. It's time for you to share them. No longer sit. Don't be afraid of what you have to offer. Don't be afraid of yourself. If you're stepping out there, then you need to act like you own the place because <laughs> in due time, you will. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, you are going to own the place. So... And if, and if you don't end up owning it, then you're going to end up meeting with the person who does. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you're not taking any L's. <laughs> That's kind of the attitude um, for this Aquarius season that we're stepping into. I'm trying to see if I see anything else for you, but I just feel like overall, I mean, this is pretty open and shut case. The more that you get out, the more that you network, the more confident you are, the more that you're willing to be diplomatic and negotiate with people, the more successful that you're going to be. Whatever it is that you've been longing for, Aries, um, that you've been working on kind of solo dolo, now it's the time for you to collaborate and feed off of other piece of people's energies. I also want to say that this is a time to, again, just emphasize on being a listener and being a sharer. Share your ideas and then listen back and then just imagine what that back and forth is going to be able to create. Just opening that divine communication um, that, you, that you have. But your manifestations are going to be coming in. They're bringing balance. You know, you are going to be meeting people of all different cultures, all different backgrounds. Your friends are going to be extremely giving and lucky and supportive. You're just going to feel super supportive about what you've been doing. And it's time for you to take charge. Um, but also with this, be continue to be strategic. And that's the other thing about this Libra energy too. Continue to be strategic. So you're being asked to not only have faith, right? That things are coming together and that your wishes and your dreams and your desires are going to come through. But to also continue to do the groundwork because nothing, the world is still the world, right? The world still exists. People are still shady. Things don't work out sometimes. So this isn't like a free for all for you to just go out and, <laughs> you know, anybody who comes your way, you take them in. No, 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 no. You learn valuable lessons on how to pick this team. You know who adds to your your, um, who adds to your life opposed to subtracts for your life. Keep that in mind as you start weed whacking through these people. But do not, if you know that somebody has potential to get you further, right? You get to know them and then they'll take you to get to know other people. Keep that in mind too. That's what I mean by strategy. I'm honestly surprised that the seven of swords is not here, but it's, it's very much giving me the seven of swords uh, vibes with this combination here is to just remember to be strategic, uh, be friendly and be diplomatic when it comes to getting what you, when it comes to getting what you want, Aries. So, wow, what a powerful freaking start. <laughs> so this is a really, really good chapter for you, honestly. Um, as far as the tarot is concerned, uh, for conquering and just getting your, getting your ideas off the ground and meeting the right type of people. That's the true theme for this reading. So now we're going to move into your Lenormand. <laughs> and so we're looking at your heart, um, your mind, and then your action for this month. So we're starting off here in your heart space, the key to the dog. Again, unlocking new friendships. Unlocking new friendships, uh, long-term friendships, unlocking partnerships, things that you can depend on, supportive energy, companionship. That's really what's coming in for you. So let's look at your mind. Yeah, stork and a new beginning. Some of you guys could be traveling. Wow, stork to the bouquet. Beautiful. I mean, Aries, this is pretty open and shut. <laughs> this is a really positive reading. So I absolutely hope that you freaking tune in uh, because 
this is great. This is a really great almond, quite honestly, um, that things are going to be coming together and you have this new fresh start um, that is filled with so much creativity, so much passion and so much love for what it is that you're doing. And you're going to be meeting people who are actually going to be like minded and who are going to be able to support you in this journey. You're going to be meeting some of the best friends of your life. And again, they could be different from you, but you're unlocking like this super beautiful uh, potential of, of, of admirers and star power. <laughs> um, so then your actions, the cross and the star card. And I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. The fox is at the bottom of the deck. And this is the seven of swords energy that I was talking about. There's a slyness. There's a cunningness. And again, this still has to deal with work. Uh, the fox deals with work. So this could certainly be a work project. Um, yeah. So the cross tends to be a challenging card. It tends to be quite heavy. But surrounded by all this beauty, I think that this is the work that you've been putting in. Didn't I hope that I said that at the beginning. I think that I did allude to it. It's just like you are putting the work in. You're going to be putting the work in with these people. You've gotten very, very far by yourself. But now you guys are building something from scratch. All of you are coming... Um, together, whoever you're meeting in this time frame, all of you are coming together to get this done. Even the star cards represents networking, dog, bouquet, uh, stars. You're meeting a new friend. You're meeting a new friend. You're meeting a new partner. You guys want the same things. You desire the same things. In fact, you feel very karmically linked with the cross. It's like you have the same cross to carry. You came in with the same uh, mission. This is very much a soul tribe energy, finding like-minded people, finding people that encourage you, finding people that inspire you, amuse, right? You know, I, I just, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm so excited for this energy because it feels so fresh, so new. It feels like you're breaking away from patterns that have kind of kept you down in the past, uh, but you've handled it so beautiful, Aries. And so now you are freaking, baby, you're a firework. So please drop a firework emoji in the comment section if this resonates with you because you're going to be popping off. You and your friends, you and your crew are going to be popping off. Um, this is lifelong commitments, right? This are lifelong new friendships, opportunities that are coming in. Um, this is a lifelong commitment. And honestly, your life's work with the cross there. I feel like this is really good as far as just stepping into your pop, uh, purpose, but remember to be cunning, cunning. Remember to be sly as a fox. Um, because that seems to be coming through too for my Aries people. So yeah, now we're going to move into your Oracle cards. But before we do, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. And please, for me, I just dropped my first ever musical EP. I'm going to be dropping the link in the description box and in the comment section. So please, if you love me, how's that for some emotional manipulation? <laughs> But if you love me, you'll check out my music. It really is my soul. Uh, so if you have any extra time, it's like a nice R&B kind of Valentine's Day-ish, lovey-dovey kind of album, sort of. <laughs> Not really, but you know. <laughs> It's really slow. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's a mood, guys. So I'm going to drop those links. So please, if you have some extra time on your hands, support me. I would appreciate that more than anything on the, in the, on the freaking planet. So thank you. Um... Now let's get back to your reading. <laughs> so here we have Surrender to the Divine. Wow, full moon. And I do think that the more that you release and you let spirit take care of you and, and give you these wish fulfillments, the easier that is going to be for these relationships to fall in place. And the less that this cross is going to feel like a cross. It's not even going to feel like a burden. It will at times, but you're going to, once you stop going against the grain and you get into the rhythm, you know, obstacles become easier to overcome. And that's what I got spirit. I'm at, that's what I got from spirit. Aries, you're overcoming these obstacles. Oh my goodness, look at this. If you believe, if you believe, I, you know, I was gonna say, do you believe, but that's Cher, so it didn't work. But, <laughs> and this lady kind of looks like Cher. I'm getting a little Cher vibe. Shout out to Cher. Um, but if you believe, if you believe that this can happen, then it will happen. So surrender. I think, like I said, this is also surrendering. You Aries have actually done a lot of the legwork yourself. It is time for you to meet 
people who can help. You set such a steady foundation, but I feel like there's a little bit of a trust issue with you because you've done so much by yourself. You're like, well, how can I open up to other people? That's where the surrendering comes in. That's where the belief comes in. That's where the faith comes in. Have faith, even this cross, have faith that these people that you're meeting are the people. This is your soul tribe, Aries, okay? Major energy, major energy, major building. And then <laughs> finally, we have building blocks, um, 28, which gets us to 10, which gets us to one, which is your number. Um, so you are building blocks. Sometimes this card, oops, sometimes this card is definitely interpreted as kind of building a wall up. But I really see this as building blocks in the sense of the three of pentacles, where, like I said, you are building something from the ground up with these people. It's going to take more than you, but you are so valuable to this project. It's like one of those things where if there's a renaissance and it's not it's not unheard of because you have Aries energy in your chart, regardless of how you identify, you know, Western or uh, Vedic. It's just like, so you are a pioneer. So when we look at Renaissance, when we look at transformative periods, there are areas there because you have to have people who are brave enough to break the mold, who are, who are brave enough to um, tear down the blocks and go after what they want. And so it makes perfect sense that you are a part of this revolution. So when people look back at this period of time, your name will be on the list of like these people. You know, when you look at, I mean, this might not be the best example, but when you look at the Rat Pack, Frank Sinatra and um, Sammy Davis Jr. And I can't think of the third person right now and how they just revolutionized Vegas. They were all equally important, right? To the group, but you know, you couldn't say Frank Sinatra without mentioning Sammy Davis. Like they were all one and the same, even though they were equally talented. But they all go down in history as just reviving Las Vegas, which was absolutely dead at the time, right? This is that type of energy, you know, where you and this gang of people are going to be bringing something back either from the dead or to the forefront. And you are, charge, you are in charge of that. So you're building brick by brick, all right? So this is very important work. That's the cross energy. This is heavy. This is not easy, but you of all people, Aries, are more than capable of doing so, okay? So that's what I got for you as far as your cards. Now we're going to look into the astrological analysis. And this is like what I was talking about earlier, where the placements are going to sound different than what's going on in mainstream Western astrology. But I find this to be more accurate. And you can certainly stick around if you're watching this as a Western Aries, What you would essentially just be doing is making Aries the ascendant. So this will still hit you. Um, this will still make sense. All right. So we have Aries. The sun will be in Aquarius in your 11th house, February 13, joining Jupiter, which brings a strong focus on meeting new and powerful friends. There's a strong focus on community and meeting like-minded people. Mercury will join in on the 11th will join in, in the 11th house on March 6th, making your social life very active. The 11th house is the house of wish fulfillment, so expect your friendships, new and old, to bring you help and luck accomplishing your dreams. Venus is moving into Capricorn in your 10th house. This also helps your public image for recognition. You can find favor with your boss. On the other hand, Mars will be entering your 10th house as well on February 26th. This conjunction is forcing you to charge towards your goals. Great transit for building recognition and branding yourself. Don't miss this opportunity in February to really get out there and show the world what you got. Wow, isn't that perfect? So I, I just go to show, I write everything down and then you saw me pre-shuffle on the cards and I love that <laughs> because it just goes to show that we're tuned into the same energy and the same frequency. So I already wrote this guys and these you saw me pre-shuffle the cards. So this just goes to show that double confirmation that you are meant to get recognition. You are meant to meet new people. You are meant to forge those relationships. You are meant to revolutionize whatever it is that you're doing. Even with the 11th house activity, 11th house, you traditionally ruled by Aquarius, the revolutionaries. So there you go. Boom. Don't we love synchronicities? Don't we love astrology? Don't we love tarot? Don't we love spirit? Don't we love God? Don't we love when shit works out like that? <laughs> That's why I have this job guys. Cause I love to see it match up. So that is overall what I got for you, um, Aries. Again, thank you so much. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Drop that firework emoji down there for me because you are certainly popping off. You and your friends are popping off. Um, and check out my music. That would mean the absolute world to me, guys. So check out my music if you have any extra time. And yeah, that's all I got for you. Peace, Aries. Until next time.